Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another moment of cross-dresser confession. Hi. Oh, hi, Donna. Hi. You didn't let How me introduce. Cunt. You didn't let me introduce you. Slut. Fucking whore. Okay. You just grabbed the microphone right out of my fucking oh, hand. Thank you. Stupid cunt. How have you been? I've been all right, honey. Anyway. Do you have? Ooh. Oh, this bitch doesn't news, even baby. wait for me to even. She doesn't even wait for me to narrate the show. Stupid cunt. Mm-mm. I'm taking over. S- go ahead and got a tell story us. To tell. Go ahead with your fucking story, you stupid cunt. The time is precious. Anyway, <clears throat> so I tell you about Cunningham Park. So mm-hmm. uh, you know, that's my favorite spot. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, our usual spot. Anyway. I, I, I saw somebody at our spot, and I was like, where do I know that that face from? Right. Anyway, when we were out here doing a show, I remember he pulled in, and I recognized the uh, the Volvo. Okay. not too many people drive that, the SUV type that he has. Yeah. Right? So, anyway... What happened was he he recognized my car and saw me go into my car and then he realized, oh shit, um, he's a cross dresser. Right. So now go to the park and I'm hanging out and I see him there's a whole lot of guys that you know Hi, honey. meet and hang out there and what a slut she is. Fucking cunt. Isn't she? She's one of our other cunt horse sisters. Long fucking legs. Cunt sisters. <laughs> we all come around. We come We're together all, without knowing. Yeah, right. Well, un- unified by the universe. And we're always chased united by, by the fucking, universe. Always chased by Neanderthals like that. <laughs> Have mercy. Yes, I'm a fucking little cunt to say that. That's right. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, so I noticed that all these guys. There's about. Seven, uh, eight of them. They're always there every day, hanging out and bullshitting. Mm-hmm. And they're all t- one. This one guy's talking to all of them, but looking down towards me. And now all of them are looking towards me. So I knew what it was about because I put two, and, two and two together, and two and two equals four. Right. Okay. Oh yeah, that is true. Of course, you're smart, <laughs> cunt. That's what we have you Ain't on the show. I smart. That's what we have you on the show. <laughs> Anyway, right. anyway, so now I guess they're all wondering. Now I want to go there. I want to go there dressed to blow their fucking mind. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. But uh, then I guess uh, I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to change. I guess I can change in my car. It's going to be a pain in the ass, but hey. You can change in the gas station, no? Oh, fuck that. You What, you don't trust gas stations? I've got stations? standards. What do you. What do, you, what do you mean? How do you mean? Listen, let's not what talk about again? gas stations. I, I was almo, al, almost killed su- Sunday night. No. Well, really, it was ho- the beginning of Halloween. Are you willing to tell this lady um, this show? It was Are scary. Are you willing to tell the crowd watching yeah, this show right now? All I got to say is just be careful. Whether you're dressed or not dressed, because I was in a lounge. I, 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 I oh mean, my god, do you have another story for the show? This, another yeah, the, the, this is serious. This stuff. is a real show. Real, I wa- real I wasn't show, dressed, ladies and gentlemen. Warning discretion you know, is advised. People have, Parental discretion is advised. People have that gaydar. Okay, so lately in this lounge, I, you know, there's never really a lot of gays. Now I notice there's a lot of gays there on this one particular night. Anyway, um, I'm there. Having a good time. I'm talking to uh, a few, few of the girls I know. You know, <clears throat> showing pictures of me dressed, and talking about how I like BBC and making her laugh. Right. right. And uh, this guy, this, he was a BBC. I right. didn't realize he was sitting behind us. And then, uh, anyway, it was like. It was definitely after one in the morning. Right. Probably after two, probably. Okay. And 
all of a sudden, I, the last <clears> thing <throat> I remember is I remember some guy. Okay. This is all just recently coming back to me, but I was definitely drugged because I remember yeah. a guy asking me if I wanted to go outside. Did you walk away from your drink at any point? Oh yeah, during oh, the night? Right. Oh yeah, okay. definitely. That's you know, probably what happened. And it's funny because I would always put a napkin inside, stuff a napkin though, inside of the uh, bottle. Okay. But uh, that doesn't mean somebody can just... It, put it back in. Somebody's back. right there and they like, put oh the... fuck that, I'm gonna put it because it's busy, everyone's having a good time, nobody's oh. paying attention. Um, Maybe that makes and, that's a little that's conceivable, right? So, Ladies and gentlemen, don't walk away from your drink. Yeah, is that the message that yeah. we're don't, don't telling walk, the crowd? Don't ever walk away from your drink because I I don't remember. All I know yeah, is yeah, it sounds I, like you blacked out, my I, dear friend. I was drugged and I was taken outside. You know, I don't know where it was, but it was somewhere where there was mud. This is what you get obviously. for being a stupid cunt. And I must have whatever this guy wanted to do I guess I must have got defensive because now it, uh, it's coming back to me that I was defensive oh you must have been I defending yourself at some point position and then we were grappling you were in a defensive and position I went down and hit my head and yeah then I probably got up and we went back down again on my and other you, side like you were trying to get back up and yeah. you fell again that's probably and why you have so I, many bruises. I, could, I couldn't get up. Because you're trying to get up and you fell as it as you're trying to get up, yeah. you kept falling. I, I and So you must have got knocked by him. That, that, that's it. You and must have said something to him. For the next and he for hit the, you. I was out for the next twenty four hours. I think hours. he hit you. I, I was out for the next twenty four hours. I have a feeling that he when hit I got you. Home. And you fell when he hit you. So be be careful. And I wasn't dressed, so picture if I was dressed. Could you imagine? Girl. You should oh, go look, back there and try to get that? clues somebody's, into what somebody's happened. Somebody's beeping the horn. We have to take a break. We're going to take a break, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go and get some popcorn and uh, shuffle our feet for a little while. Be careful, girls. Yes.